Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and kicking people in the face is a popular pastime in video games and the pinnacle of face kicking is Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. Now here's a video on why I'm correct and anyone that says Tekken is wrong. So what makes Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown the best fighting game of them all? It's not the fact that Virtua Fighter was the first ever 3D fighting game ever made way back in 1993. It's not the fact that while designing the concept for the first PlayStation console, Sony was unsure if the machine should be a 2D sprite based machine or a 3D graphics machine. When Sony saw Virtua Fighter, they knew that the future of gaming was in 3D graphics. Virtua Fighter directly shaped the first PlayStation console. It's also not the fact that Virtua Fighter was the inspiration Toby Gard had for creating the Tomb Raider games or that John Romero lists Virtua Fighter as the inspiration behind Quake and unfortunately Daikatana. Virtua Fighter is not great because of all that pretentious nonsense. It's great because of this. Block, punch, kick, that's it, you don't need anything else. Three buttons that don't need explaining to any player no matter what their skill level is. No no messing around with medium and heavy punches or left and right kicks, anyone can just start playing because the controls are so simple. But simple games don't hold the attention of die-hard Evo virgins for long, and thankfully Virtua Fighter manages to have far greater depth than its rivals, even with fewer action buttons. The emphasis is not on flashy super moves, but a combination of positioning yourself within the fighting area for greater advantage, either by using of the walls or by knocking your opponent out the ring. Also by blocking attacks successfully and breaking through your opponent's guard by observing their stance and delivering an attack to an unguarded area. By sticking to these simple ideas, Virtua Fighter becomes accessible to new players but it's huge depth for skilled players to learn their characters thoroughly so they have an answer for every situation. Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown is the accumulation of years of game Gameplay shakeups, balancing, and retuning over more than just four other games. So let's take a look. This is 1993's first entry in the series, Virtua Fighter. My eyes are burning! Even though the fighters look like they've been crafted with a potato peeler, the first Virtua Fighter was groundbreaking. Every single fighting game before it had been a 2D sprite based game like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, but now the camera could move around the characters and players had freedom to move in any direction. This one title took the fighting game genre down a whole new glorious three dimensional route. Virtua Fighter changed slapping people around forever. Virtua Fighter 2 took the first game, slapped textures all over those bare polygons, tightened up the controls, added two new characters, three dimensional backgrounds and created a fantastic fighting game. Well, it was great when it was made, but like the first game, playing it now feels actually quite stiff and awkward. I find it quite hard to go back and play the first and second games, although the music in both is absolutely brilliant. Virtua Fighter 3, however, is the entry in the series that perfectly bridges the changes between the first two earlier stiff feeling Virtua Fighter games and the later loose feeling combo driven gameplay that we would see in the later Virtua Fighter games. You can feel AM2 had just started to loosen the game a little bit, but not quite to the degree of Virtua Fighter 4. But it's not just the core gameplay that was different now. Stages were not a flat area, meaning that you might be higher or lower than your opponent, which could put you in an advantage depending on where you were and your fighting style. Also a new button was added so players could actually sidestep. All of this meant Virtua Fighter 3 was a very experimental title. AM2 were trying a lot of new ideas out, many of which would lay the groundwork for the next game.
Virtua Fighter 4 saw a drastic change in pace for the series. The stiffness was well and truly gone, and now the focus was on speed and combos. Gone too were the different height stages, the sidestep button was removed, and sidestepping was simply a double tap up or down. The game was fantastic. AM2 soon found a way to make it better. Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution took Virtua Fighter 4, tuned it further and added two new characters. This was an absolute smash hit in the arcades and when it was brought to PS2 it had a fantastic quest mode that saw you virtually fight through different Japanese arcades against computer opponents that had been generated using real players data from the arcade competition scene. Now we get to Virtua Fighter 5, which is still focused on the quick controls and combos, but optimised the game further. By this point, the animation work of the characters was the best in the genre, as too were the controls. Another great quest mode was added to the PS3 home port, which I think is much better than the Evolution version. The next revision of Virtua Fighter 5 was Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown. A tiny bit of rebalancing, altered camera view and a graphic upgrade is what this version brought to the table. This by far was miles more advanced than any other fighting game. Nine years later and here we are with Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. Turns out the last one being called Final Showdown was a lie. But that's okay because what we have now is the best fighting game ever made. Now the emphasis is with online competition. As you win matches, you'll gain experience points in the hopes to progress up a level. If you lose experience points and lose enough in a row, you'll go down a level. If you're new to the series, there's an extensive training mode to learn all the moves. You can customise your fighter to look a different way. You can purchase DLC to add character models that resemble Virtua Fighter 1 combatants. This also gives you the option to change the UI to the OG life bar styles. I've played a decent amount myself and I got in early with a promo code. I even managed to get third best ranked in Europe before it actually came out as the June 3 PlayStation Plus game. I'm now a level 21 hunter. I recorded some of my earlier matches but because of certain Wi-Fi problems I'm not going to bore you with. I had to use the PlayStation 4 internal recording feature so that only at 720p 30 frames a second. Either way, Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown is the best fighting game period. Inputting commands is easy but the true skill comes from not only learning your moves but the other fighters too so you can deploy the right move to break an opponent's guard if you're new to the series it's easy to begin playing personally i'd like to see some sort of virtua fighter collection package released in the future i want everything arcade sega saturn and 32x versions of the first game arcade and saturn versions of virtua fighter 2 virtua fighter kids the sega saturn cg collections Mega Drive and Game Gear versions of Virtua Fighter 2, Arcade and Dreamcast versions of Virtua Fighter 3, Virtua Fighter 4, Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution and definitely Virtua Fighter 10th Anniversary, Virtua Fighter 5 and Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown and you can't forget the B-Uni Virtua Fighter song. Come on Sega! Okay, so